a very warm welcome to all the students and today we are here with a new video of english 1 b hive chapter 3 the little girl before starting with the chapter i'll give you the introduction of the chapter the title of the story that refers to the main character that we will come across a little girl named kezia and the theme of the story is the relation between children and their parents and the writer katherine mansfield wants to tell us that children share a very important bond of love with their parents and when the children are small when they are young they do not feel that their parents love them because their parents are strict and many actions of the parents seems unjustified for them and but as the children they grow up when they realize that all the acts done by their parents were beneficial for them and the parents were concerned for them and when uh, they were strict they lays uh, lies a heart full of love for the children and this bond of love between parents and their children has been highlighted through this story now let us start with the chapter the little girl before you read let us see what is that do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of their actions that used to upset you earlier see when we were small na we were very small we don't know why our parents have been strict to us where they were strict to us but as when we grow older when we become mature and we come to know that they were been strict with us and when we realize the things we are we also realize that our parents love us and so even the reader can also relate to this and you all can also feel that when you were younger the action you your parent did the strictness that they had towards you was for your betterment and as you will grow older and older you will realize that in past whatever acts your parents did were for your betterment and in fact they really love you this story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every house see now what do you mean by this will probably find an echo in every home see this means that uh, all the children they feel the same way so you all can relate to the feeling of the little girl kezia just like kezia is full of fear towards her, her father and later on she understands his behavior and feels he was concerned and he loved her and all the children also have the same feeling towards their parents and you can relate to kezia's story very well now let us start with the chapter i'll read and explain you accordingly to the little girl he was a figure to be feared and avoided figure to fear means what a person to be feared and who is the figure to be feared here kezia kezia's father so he re- refers to kezia's father and the little girl is kezia so the opening line in the, at the starting of the story is indicating the fear that kezia has for her father and as she is fearful of her father she tries to avoid him and she tries to remain away from him every morning before going to work he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss to which she responded with goodbye father see what happened when every morning before going for work kezia's father used to come to her room and gave her a casual kiss and in reply what kezia would say to her father goodbye father so this was the action that kezia's father show his love to her daughter and oh there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of carriage growing fainter and fainter down the long road 
see what was glad to sense of relief means what she felt it was relaxed and fainter and fainter it was growing means a lesson to or to reduce see carriages like horse cart means of conveyance used in the olden times so here we can make out the fear that kezia has for her father the writer says that when kezia heard that her father's carriage was going away from the home when it was going and he was leaving the home and he sounds become that sound the it was produced that become fainter and fainter it reduces and it means a sound reduce kezia would have a sense of relaxation she would feel relieved that her father had left and now why did she feel relieved why she is feeling relieved because she feared her father she was having a fear for her father and she was afraid of his father of her father and so she was relieved when he left home in the evening when he came home she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall see what happened a loud voice what been in the hall in the evening when kezia's father would return he would return from home and she would hear his loud voice and this loud voice again made her afraid of him bring my tea into the drawing room hasn't the paper come yet mother go and see if my papers out there and bring me my sleeper so what she say so so yes kezia's father when he used to return back to home he would start ordering all the different things and he would order for the tea to be served in the drawing room he would order he would order for the newspaper he would ask from his mother to go and see if the newspaper was there outside the house and he would asked her to get him his sleeper also kezia mother would call to her if you are a good girl you can come down and take off father's boots see what the kezia's mother would uh, do she would call her uh, call her and ask her to remove her father's boots and in order to make her obey she would say that if she was a good girl see she what her mother used to say that if she is a good girl then surely she would obey the command which was given to her by her mother slowly the girl would slip down the stairs more slowly still across the hall and push open the drawing room door she slipped down she comes quietly down so again when she kezia was in the fear she was fear of her father and that is why she would come down the stairs quietly and unwillingly unwillingly why because she did not want to face her father she was feared of him and slowly she come across the hall but that time he had his spectacles on and looked at her over them in a way that was terrifying to the little girl see now just imagine kezia's father who is sitting in the drawing room on a sofa and he is wearing a spectacles and he is looking at kezia over the spectacles and what happened the way he look at her that also terrified her and she was horrified because maybe it seemed to her that he was staring at her when kezia hurry up and pull off this boots and take them out have you been a good girl today see what is said kezia was uh, was working in a in she was in her work and she was slow in her motion slowly she was doing and so her father would tell her to hurry up to do it quickly and remove his boots and keep them out of the room and then he would ask her if she had been a good girl that day i did, did not know father see how she replies and kezia replied that she did not so why was she stammering 
she she was stammering i did, did not she was stammering why because she was confident she was not confident she was scared of her father a person who is not confident when he has any feeling of fear you did, did not know if you shattered uh, like that mother will have to take you to the doctor shattered means you stammer you speak with a pause so here kesia's father is copying her and he also stammer like she did and he says to her that if she shattered like stammered like that then her mother would have to take her to the doctor for the checkup she never started with other people had quite given a tap but only with father because then she was trying so hard she give up means she stopped doing it because then she was trying so hard to say the words properly she was trying hard was making a lot of efforts so here the writer tells us that the kesia never stammered while she used to talk with the other people but when it comes to her father uh, that she lacked confidence and that is why she tried very hard to speak properly and she stammered what's the matter what are you looking so wretched about wretched means unhappy or said mother i wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink on the brink of suicide means what about to commit suicide here kesia carry my tea cup back to the table carefully see now what happened the kesia's father look at her he feels that something is wrong with her and he asked her mother her why she is so unhappy and then she tells the mother that she should teach kesia to behave in a better way and she should not appear as if she is so unhappy uh, that she is about to end her life so he wants to say that kesia seems to be so unhappy with her life that she did not want to live any longer he hands her his tea cup and ask her to place it back on the table he was so big his hands his neck especially his mouth when he yawned thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant see here this is a feeling this is in the vision that kesia has for her father she feels that her father was so big and he was just like a giant and the writer says that kesia felt that his hands and his neck and his mouth were all so huge especially when he yawned he it seemed as if he was a huge monster and like a giant and whenever kesia thought about her father she felt that she was thinking about a giant hope you all have understood till here in the next video we'll read ahead thank you